take about a minute. That means your elevator is traveling at a speed of more than 24 feet per second. The tower opened its doors in 1973 and held the title of the world's tallest building for 25 years. The west antenna reaches 1,730 feet above the Chicago streets. We're now passing 850 feet and San Francisco's Transamerica Pyramid, 970 feet and the Yokohama Landmark Tower, Japan's tallest building, 1,062 feet and Paris's stunning Eiffel Tower, the Bank of China Tower in Hong Kong, 1,250 feet and the Empire State Building in New York. And now we're here, 103 stories Whistle. We ended up raising our city somewhere between four and ten feet. So now we can put in sewers. That's the good news. The bad news is the sewers got the waste to the river, and we were still drinking the lake water because the river went to the lake. Chesbro had a second idea. He said, put a water crypt out in the lake, two miles, that'll be away from the pollution. We'll dig a tunnel underground, and we'll bring our water in underground from fresh water farther out. That worked really well most of the time. If we had a really bad storm, it still was polluted and it brought in bad water. So now Tresbro went to his, his ace in the hole. He said, okay, let's reverse the flow of the Chicago River. Now, think about that concept. Just to me, I, I still, although I know the story, I can't quite comprehend how you can do that. Now, the geography helped us because it wasn't very far to our west where the rivers naturally emptied west. It was only a few miles west. So our watershed really wasn't very far. What we had to do was take our current river, make a new canal, divert the river, and then dredge the path of the current river deeper. Dig up the dirt, dig up the dirt, make it lower and lower so that gravity would take the water west. Now, when I say that, I make it sound like it's simple. We spent seven and a half years on it. We bulldozed, we dynamited. It, it was the largest civic project ever. And finally, in 1900, we were ready to go ahead and open up the dam and let the water flow the other direction. Now, you might think other cities might not be too happy with this. If you're downriver, to think, wait a minute, Chicago's going to dump all Now it's like St. Louis was not happy. Now, they took